Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going through all of the holes in Rocky Mountains, showing you the best shortcuts uh, with a five power club. So we've got the Blaze 542, and uh, yeah, you really get to see the full potential of a five power at Rocky Mountains. Uh, this should, should be an interesting video if you don't have a five power, and if you do, hopefully it will help you out a little bit. So uh, let's start off with the hole in ones. I'm just reusing the names from the four power video. But uh, anyway, the first one, just a little bit more than a soft yellow, and uh, basically same as 4 power, you just have to get a little bit lucky. And uh, that is the only Rocky Mountain hole in one. So now to sand hop. Uh, a great hole with a 5 power. If you're on the left side, it's a red. If you're on the right side, it's an orange. As far up as you can, and then uh, boom, in for a hole in 2. Huge game changer with a 5 power, that one. 1, 1, 5, 2 is fairly similar. If you're at the front, it's a hard orange. If you're at the back, it's a soft red. Then you can just pop down. Some people go left. I like to go right and, uh, with a soft orange or a hard yellow. And uh, once you find the spot, it's a pretty consistent hole in two. Now for jump and hope. A much easier hole in two with a five power. A little bit less than a hard yellow, and if it brings you up here, you don't roll too much down, then uh, it's usually a hole in two, which is another pretty big game changer compared to most other players. Bank or ramp, very simple, just fire it straight out the sand, you got a nice easy straight shot for a guaranteed hole in two. Puzzle piece, that's a pretty fun one, you can also get a hole in two here. If you bank it off the left side, it kind of gets you a bit further, I find. And from here, it's a little bit more of a soft orange. Get the tightest angle possible. And uh, there you go, hole in two. And uh, the, other, uh, the other way, sometimes you don't get quite as far from depending on your starting spot. But even if you get kind of close to like this, you can uh, flick it off that back and it also sometimes gets you a hole in two. Wheel of Fortune is a very easy hole in two now. From any of the spots, you can just max it out to the left of this little post. And then just a bit more of the soft yellow off to the back wall. And uh, boom, nice and easy. Clippity clip is basically the same principle, but I find it a little bit easier for whatever reason. I guess you can get further. And then a hard yellow works pretty much perfectly for me most times. And I'm finding I'm getting a hole in two pretty often now, so that's nice. Sugar lump. Again, you can get uh, to the other platform from any of the starting spots now. And then as long as you line up the second shot a little bit more than a soft orange, should be a hole in two possible from all of the spots and uh, not too difficult. So bowling alley. A couple of different ways. If you're on the right side, then you can just... Max it straight onto this piece of wood, and then a hard green does the trick. Or else if you're on not on the right side, then uh, I found if you do a decent yellow, about a softish middle, and uh, you actually want to roll back down, because if you roll back down, I find that you, know, you can just max it, and that is pretty much the perfect power for a hole in two with five power. Ramps galore is basically just the same as 4 power. You can just smash it through the sand, and uh, this shot is always just completely different. No way that you can help yourself that much. You just gotta get a little bit lucky, I guess. And if you're on the right side, you can just go out to the right, about a hard yellow, soft orange. And then, uh, yeah, again, just have to get basically a bit lucky. These ramps are always pretty darn weird. So water hole, a hole in two is very much possible. All you have to do is uh, find a way to get on the wood from the first shot. So yeah, flicking it around the right side. If you get on the wood, it's basically a hole in two every time. If you don't, then uh, you can't quite reach. So only go for it if you're on that wood. Elephant, you can just go off the right wall. Easier if you're on the left side, but it can be done from most spots, I think. 
And uh, yeah, hole in two. Otherwise, you can just take the safe hole in three, which is pretty self-explanatory. So skip the loop, the newest hole. You can just fire it over. You always get in front of the in front of the loop from any of the spots now. And then I find a, about a soft red usually does the trick, but yeah, it's kind of got to get a little bit lucky for that hole in two. That is a bit of a difficult one. So hit the jackpot, if you're on the right side and uh, you're going for a hole in two then a little bit more than a soft orange, bank it off that triangle so you get down here and then uh, following what Tony did, a soft red to the very left of this bump here and uh, with a little bit of luck at the end that is how you can get a hole in two and uh, the other hole in two from the left side is a soft red with a five power just before the triangle and it brings you down before the sand, and then a hard yellow, plus a bit of luck at the end, you can uh, dunk it in for a hole in two. Boom. But if you're looking for a safer hole in three option, which can be done from either side, you just gotta get it over to here, and you can just fire it over that post, and tap it in for a guaranteed hole in three. So yeah, a few different ways for that hole. One of my favorites, pretty fun. Bullseye is great, especially if you're on this side because you can get a hole in two. You just want to do a bit more than a soft orange, bank it off the side. Trying to get as far up as you can because then here, a little bit of luck and a nice bounce, a hole in two is very much possible. Can't do it from this side sadly, but a hole in three is not too difficult if you chuck it in the sand and then fire it out here. And I find that this is about the perfect place to get it in for a hole in three. So, that's the most consistent route that I found for the other side. Island hopping, super, super consistent. Hole in three with the five power, just soft orange it there, max it in a hard yellow into the hole. But it's in this section because a hole in two is possible. And what you have to do is uh, try and get a lucky flick off that island there. From there it was a soft red, you can see how that works. A little bit of lucky. But if you get there, then boom, hole in two. Now for Pluto. One of the biggest game-changing holes with a five power. You can just soft red it into this lump of sand, then max it up onto Pluto, and then just tap it in for a very easy hole in three. But again, a hole in two is possible. This is kind of like ridiculously hard. I've only seen two people ever do it. But I managed to get it, so you just have to tap it up as high as you can. And then if you get very, very lucky, you might be able to get a hole in two just like that. But uh, I would not recommend that, because it's almost never going to happen. So now the hole in threes. Off-road nice and easy with a 5 power, you can just max it out to the left side. And again, around the half pipe. And it always gets you far enough up and you have the ability to just max it straight over. It's all about finding the easiest way so you don't get stuck on the side. That's the only problem. But uh, yeah, hole in three is quite, quite possible, quite doable. Sandfly, nice and easy. Well, I actually, I think it's a little bit harder with a five power. You just get here and then this shot, around about a middle to hard orange. And uh, yeah, the accuracy should bring you in most of the time. So line of symmetry, what I like to do is a soft red instead of a max because then you have the position to bank it off this triangle here with a hard orange and it brings you up for a much easier chance at a hole in three. A little bit more than a soft yellow did the trick for me, but uh, yeah, it basically just improves the chances of getting that hole in three. The double half pipe, just a hard yellow around the first one. And then I like to do like a soft yellow and just kind of roll me back down. It gets me in the right position from here. Not quite a max, but just about at the very tip and a little bit of luck at the end. Hole in three is, I actually find it's quite doable. It's not, not too rare with a five power. And Rocky Road, my favorite name of the video. A little bit more than a soft orange round, then just max it over. 
and with a five power you don't have to go around what you can actually do is just max it off that back you most of the time you get to the platform and with a bit of luck a hole in three as well so yeah pretty fun hole and finally the hole in fours only two of them first one is patience you just got to max it off the left side because that stops you from falling in the sand then just be patient for that board hard yellow it through Max it around to the left, I like to go this way because it's a shorter distance to the hole and a little bit more than a soft yellow plus a bit of accuracy and boom, hole in four. And the final hole, seam park. Same for both sides, it's a soft orange, just make sure you hit the angled piece of wood so it gets you into the middle. And then from here, again, it's just a soft orange and pretty much most of the time it brings you onto this ramp and uh, you can just max it over and get a hole in four a whole lot more often than I find that it can be to a four power. Hard yellow is the last shot and boom. So there you go guys, those are all of the holes, all 25 of Rocky Mountains with a five power club. Shows you how incredibly useful it is. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. And uh, even if you don't have a five power, it's pretty fun to watch. Cool to see the full potential. Uh, but other than that, thanks very much for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.